I'm going to start making a planter today. So I started rolling out on the cloth, but now I need some guides to stop the thickness being different throughout. So I'm just literally just rolling this piece of clay out. Now, ideally, I'd probably want it a bit wider, but this could take a long time to make if I'm going to carry on doing that. So take it off the cloth and just do one more turn. So I'll move it that way. There we go. And then when you're ready, you can transfer this cloth on to the board. Now the board I'm going to work on throughout because then it can dry and I can smooth it around without getting it in the way. So now I'm going to find something circular. I've got a couple of bowls around that I could draw around. So that could be my base shape. So I'm just going to literally, I'm going to try and get the optimum amount on here. Let me find something to cut with. Which is this. So probably about a centimetre around that. So it's just a guide because you're going to add to this. So that's going to be my starting point. Take that bowl off. So now you're going to have to make some sausages out of your clay. Now this clay is a little bit dry to start with. Um, you might have softer clay, but you're basically you're going to squash it into sausage and roll so it's condensed together. Now just because mine is a little bit drier, I never usually do this, I've got some slip which I'm going to just rough this surface up and I'm just going to do this for my first sausage as I apply. So rough all that up. And I'm just going to put slop it all around those scores that I've just created. I'll keep that for later because I will use that when I'm adding my leaves and etc. So where I'm going to join again, I'm going to scratch this surface. I don't, as I said, usually I don't do this because usually the clay is wet enough for it to it's too wet for add, adding more, more, more moisture. So today, because it's a little bit dry, I'm going to add it to there. Now where it joins, you're going to start joining together by just pushing, flattening that, that round of that sausage. So it's all one piece. Also, you're concentrating that you're keeping enough of the structure of that sausage for the next layer that you're going to add. So I'm going to keep carry on doing this. Now now Right, so I left this bowl with this cling film around the top to keep the moisture just in this surface because I wanted this to dry out because it was starting to sag a little bit. As you go bigger, the weight of the clay will start to sag. Um, but I've left it three days and I should have only been probably about a day I should have left it. So I'm now going to have to rehydrate this top bit so I can put new sausages on the top. So... I'm just going to literally just add some water just to that top edge where I want to. Add some more sausages. You can see it's all undulating. It's not straight yet. Um, I can sort that out later. But I want this to be the same moisture content as the clay I'm adding to it. Otherwise it will 
because it's already shrunk a little bit um, it the new clay won't will shrink further so it will cause stress so I just need this top edge to be quite damp I might even um, cross and score to add some slip onto there uh, like I did the base so I might do that now so this is quite still quite gloopy so that would just make sure that that surface has been hydrated a little bit more and it'll give it a chance not to crack So I've smoothed all of the surface, I have created a more uniform lip, I'll show you how I've done that on the top of the bowl, just by using this kidney and if I show you, and I keep turning it round and scooping it in the same motion, so this basically stays still and the pot just takes off excess clay where it needs to be. Um, now I'm going to leave it for a little while so the top half can dry. So I've covered the base of the pot with plastic so that I can hopefully get them both to the same working state. Um, I'm just going to show you. I'm happy with the overall shape of the pot I've decided to think about the surface design so I have these lovely leaves a monstera plant in my living room I've, I've taken some photographs to work from to transfer these images onto the side of the pot so I've just etched them into the surface And now I'm going to add little sausages just on the edge of each of the lines that I've made on the pot. I was going to make bigger leaves, like larger leaves to put on the decoration, but the pot is quite large and thick and I thought adding more clay would be not such a good idea. So I've just edged the leaves. Um, there we go. So I'm just adding and going along there so I'm scratching and then I am scoring so now it's dried out a little bit more I'm going to tackle the top of that pot to make sure and then I'm just smoothing over those sausages it has dried out a little bit um, from the time that I've put the sausages on so I, this, is, this is a day later and I'm literally just smoothing all those edges so that they're nice and attached 